Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Today, we will discuss how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of fractions. Let us read and analyze the problem. Cass earned 20 pesos by selling ice candy. If she puts 3 fifths of her money in her money saver box, how much did she see? The problem that we have read earlier is an example of a routine problem. A routine problem can be solved using Poya's problem solving method. So we have 4 steps to follow in order to solve a routine problem. So, we're going to understand first the problem by answering what is asked in the problem and what is or what are the given. Then, second step is to plan. So, we will plan for the operation to be used and the number sentence. Then, the third step is to solve. So, using the number sentence, we're going to solve for the solution. And the fourth step is to check and look back. So, what is the answer to the problem? So, let us now solve the problem using the first step, which is to understand. So, we have to know what is asked in the problem. So, based on the problem, we are looking for the how much money did Kat save. And the given numbers are 20 pesos and 3 fifths of our money in the saver box. Then our second step is to plan. So what is the operation to be used? So we are going to use multiplication of fractions. Then what is the number sentence? So the number sentence will be 20 times 3 fifths is equal to n. Let's now proceed on solving the problem using the number sentence. So, the solution will be 20 times 3 fifths is equal to n. So, since we are dealing with a fraction and a whole number, we're going to express first our whole number to fraction by using 1 as the denominator. Then, we can now proceed with multiplication rules. So, we multiply the numerator 20 times 3 and multiply the denominator, so 1 times 5. 20 times 3 is 60, and 1 times 5 is 5. Then simplify your answer if possible. So we can use, uh, we can directly divide 60 by 5, or we can divide them by our GCF. So 60 and 5, the GCF of 60 and 5 is 5, so we divide them by 5. So 60 divided by 5 is 12, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Then, 12 divided by 1 is 12. So, the final answer is 12. And for our final step, which is to check and look back, so what is the answer to the problem? We will uh, substitute the answer to the number sentence. So, 20 over 1 times 3 over 5. So, yung ating n will become 12 since yun yung nakuha natin final answer. Then, we will check if that is Correct. So, 20 times 3 is 60, then 1 times 5 is 5. Then, 60, uh, get the GCF of 60 and 5. So, the GCF is 5. So, 60 divided by 5 is 12, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Then, 12 divided by 1 is 12. Check. So, 12 is equal to 12. So, check. Therefore, our final answer is, cut, save, 12 pesos. Okay, so let's try to solve routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole numbers. Have an example. Now read and analyze the problem. In a graduating class of 100 pupils in SB19 Academy, two-fifths decided to enroll at Bangtan Elementary School. 
one fourth at Exo Montessori School and the rest are still undecided. How many pupils are undecided? So we are looking for the number of pupils which are not yet enrolled or still undecided. Okay, so let us solve the problem using Polya's problem solving method. So the first step is to understand the problem by answering what is asked in the problem. So how many pupils are undecided? And the given numbers and fractions are 100 pupils, 2 fifths are decided to enroll at Bangtan Elementary School, and 1 fourth at Exo Montessori School. Okay, so the second step is to plan. So we are planning for the operation to be used. And the operation that we will use are addition, multiplication, and subtraction. Then this will be our number sentence. So 100 minus 2 fifth times 100 plus 1 fourth times 100 is equal to n. So bakit ganito ang ating number sentence? So, una, kukunin muna natin yung total number ng nag-enroll sa Bangtan Elementary School by multiplying 2 fifth or by getting 2 fifth of 100 through multiplication. Then, para malaman din natin ang total number na nag-enroll sa Excel Learning Center, we will get the 1 fourth of 100 or multiply 1 fourth by 100. Then, kukunin natin yung sum ng dalawang school, then saka natin isasubtract sa total uh, graduating pupils para makuha natin yung pupils na undecided. Okay, so let's now solve for the solution. So, we have 100 minus 2 fifth times 100 plus 1 fourth times 100 is equal to n. So, again, since we are dealing with uh, multiplication of whole number and the fraction, so, yung 100, i-express natin siya as a fraction using 1 as the denominator. So, ganito ang na ang kanyang magiging itsura. Then, proceed on multiplying fraction. So, unahin muna natin lahat ng nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, simplify muna natin yung mga nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, yung 2 times 100 is 200. Then, 5 times 1 is 5. Plus, multiply 100 times 1, so 100, then 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Then, kunin natin yung sum or we can pro, uh, divide 200 by 5. So, 100 minus 200 divided by 5 is 40 plus 100 divided by 4 is 25. Then, get the sum of 40 and 25, so the answer is 65. Then, isasubtract natin ang 65, so 100 so, the number of undecided pupils are 35. Okay, so to check and look back for our final answer, again, isa-substitute lang natin ang ating nakuhang value of n doon sa ating number sentence. So, so 100 minus 2 over 5 times 100 over 1 plus 1 fourth times 100 over 1 is equal to 35. Then, 100 minus, uh, multiply 2 by 100, so 200, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 100 times 1 is 100, and 4 times 1 is 4. Then, i-divide na natin, 200 divided by 5 is 40, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. Then, add the numbers. 40 plus 25 is 65. Then, subtract natin yung 65 sa so 100 is equal to 35. So, 35 is equal to 35. So, check. Therefore, uh, the pupils that are still undecided to enroll are 35. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much!